15 test appearances. The crowd have been waiting for this. The Mercurial Cliff Lions leads Manly on to Brookvale Oval for the last time. And Lions sprints out 36 years of age. He's playing his 287th first grade game for Manly. Luke Phillips is the fullback. Torrens and Terry Hill in the centres. Cliff Lyons will start in the 5'8 position. Craig Field the halfback. And of course, Jeff Tuvey, named in the halfback position, moves into the hooking role. Cliff Lyons, 36, 287 first grade games for Manly. He will temporarily overtake Cronulla's Andrew Eddinghausen, who previously held the record for the most first grade games for a single club. 13 seasons at one club. It is a very long time. His last appearance at Brookvale Oval. The referee today, Mr. Bill Harrigan. Oh, I got you. Yep, we're right. Most of that 250 first grade matches. We are underway. Big game at Brookvale. Manly must win this game to join Canterbury in ninth position. If they win, it leaves Manly, Canterbury, Illawarra, Cronulla fighting for the last two playoff positions. John Hopawati takes it off. Jason Taylor, an important game for Manly. It sure is a big game for Manly, Terry. A must-win situation for them. It's disappointing with the weather for Cliff Lyons last game at, at Brookvale Oval. He's been such a great player, but there are plenty of people braving it at the moment. The rain is coming down. There's, there's lots of them over there on the hill here to cheer him on today. Craig Field gets the kick away. Scott Mann takes it forward for the North Queensland Cowboys. Joining us on the sideline, Mario Fennick in clement conditions, Mario. Yeah, to say the least, uh, it's been raining quite heavily for most of the day, and even uh, yet, uh, as of uh, last night, as uh, Jason Taylor said, uh, testament to Cliff Lyons, he's been a great player here. To see the number of people here, in fact, they announced that all the undercover seating had been sold out, so Cliff Lyons has been a great player for them. Very emotional period for Cliff Lyons and the Manly team. They need to win today to keep their semi-final hopes alive. And I think they'll do that, although the game will be close. Duderman gets the kick away. Luke Phillips goes back, along with Craig Hancock. Hancock. She's played one origin game for New South Wales. That was back in 1995. And he's hurt in that opening tackle. Slowly to his feet for Hancock. Didn't seem to be too much in that tackle. Oh, it, it might have been a knock to the head there. He looks a bit dizzy as he, as he got up to play the ball. But this is the way that, that both sides are going to be looking to play this game. And the Cowboys doing it well at the moment. Manly having a little bit of trouble getting out of their own end. Daniel Gartner driven back. He's playing in the front row today for Manly. Craigfield appeals for a slow play the ball. Kosef now has just re-signed with the Manly club. A major boost to them. Picks up Craig Field. Good kick from Craig Field. Scott Mann goes back. Walks up. And there's a wall of Manly defenders there. Good chase from Cliff Lyons. He wants another season with Manly. And he's keen to go around again at 37. Jason Deeth. Trying to link up there with Martin Locke. Through the hands of Duneman. Ferris turns it back on the inside for Cunningham. Owen Cunningham. So in the OV30 bracket at the moment. Lock. Taken high there by Menzies. A wet old day at Brookvale. Back for Duneman. Times that kick well. Phillips positions himself even better. Craig Hancock has recovered from that earlier knock. And Manly are looking to use the ball quite well, Mario Fennick, in these difficult conditions. Well, there's a, a drop ball there. I'm sure that uh, Bob Fulton won't be happy. That's a lost ball. So that's going to give North Queensland a bit of an opportunity here. And on a day like today, you've got to take every opportunity you can. You right, North mate? Queensland some 20 metres out with the football. There's a the replay there. Let's have a look if there's any hands in there. They try to pick him up. Yeah, lost ball. North Queensland get the football. Good quality possession. Golden opportunity here for the Cowboys to strike first. Break around the back. Ferris 
delivers it to Dunamir. Ma, up from the full-back position, trying to use his step. Walters delivers it to Cunningham. Would love to score a try against his old club. Lomax. He's been in rare form as John Lomax. Had a big game last week against the Broncos. Quick by the ball. Walters goes from dummy half. He's held up. We're going to have to have a look. We're going to go to the video referee. Yeah. Walters, who will take the advantage. Zero position, ball. If the markers go to sleep and he saw an opportunity there. This is going to be a positive result for North Queensland regardless. If he scores it, obviously it's very positive with the try. It's hard to see from that shot there. And if he doesn't score it, then it's held up and they'll get the scrum feed. Keeps the body low to the ground. They were a bit slow to get off their line there. The, the, the play of the ball was a quick one from Lomax. Walters burrowed at the line. I mentioned that Lomax got away a very good quick play of the ball. Walters puts the head down. Phillips tries to get the arms underneath. I think we're going to see the ref, ref's call light come up here, Terry. I don't see how the video referee can, can pick it. Those manly players from every angle seem to be covering the ball. It's, it's too hard to tell whether he has scored or not. Mario Fennick, I think it will be a red light. Yeah, I think it'll be a try, mate. But judging by the angle and uh, the way he, he was definitely over the line. Ref's call. The no try. No try. How oh. will pack the scrum? I can hear the concrete truck coming. <laughs> it was a difficult one. Walters looks up. Chance now for the Cowboys again. Shipwell delivers it to Jason Deeth. They've got numbers on the left hand side. They go to the right. Shipway. Josh Hennay, the big teenager, stretches out, goes over. The Cowboys score the first try of this game. Maybe a boil over in the making. Who knows? Well, it's certainly a great start for the Cowboys in these conditions to get early points on the board, to have a team having to play catch-up football in, in, in a day like these the conditions are today. It's going to be tough all the way. And Hene just got it on the outside of Hopawadi there. Terry, you called that they had numbers on the left, and they probably did. They, they were a bit short on the right-hand side, but he just took it upon himself, Josh Henne. But on the outside of John Hopawati, and was strong enough to get the try down, get the ball down over the line. He is a true talent. Only 18 years of age, 100 kilograms already. He was selected to play first grade at only 16 years of age, and, of course, it caused a controversy at that stage, and he was ruled too young by the ARL at that stage. That was two years ago, obviously. He's now 18, and he's certainly old enough to play. And he's playing extremely well. Possesses a very good left boot. He strikes this one just wide of the post. The Cowboys, they lead by four points to nil. Yeah, merely pay the pay the ultimate price. Hancock mistake, another set of six. Hanno, one on one missed by Hopawato. Not good enough. Good start for the Cowboys. He's a handful, isn't he, Mario? Josh Hanno. Yeah, he's got. A, he's a player of great potential. But disappointing Hopawato's tackle. He's an international player. This game's so critical. He misses a one on one tackle like that. Bob Fulton won't be happy. Low max. Oh get a sniff and now ah. they'll in fact didn't play I've given the ball two correctly. warnings down there you've got to stand up let me get him i did notice this Mitchell. earlier jason taylor lomax got that quick play the ball away for steve waters and of course it's a prop forwards job to do exactly this but he's got to get to his feet first that's a tough call yeah it, it was a tough one i thought he was making an effort there was a manly hand still on him uh but Re bill harrigan was was right there watching it so have a look at this replay. The one you mentioned, you balance. Hands off the ground. where Walters went over from dummy half, well, mm. thought he'd gone over. Certainly gave a great advantage, and, and they do give the side a, a big advantage if you, if you can play it before you get to your feet. So probably a fair call from Bill Harrigan. Mario, the thing going against Lomax there was the fact he still had his hand on the ground when he then placed the ball on the ground to play it back. Yeah, if you can recall early in the season, they had a real blitz on the play of the ball. Yep. Uh, tackles, play the balls like that were often penalised. They let go of it. 
Now we're going to semi-final football. Uh, Lomax is over to get penalised there. This will be a critical kick for Phillips. Luke Phillips strikes it well. Manly narrows that gap now. The Cowboys are still in front by four points to two. It's a nice way to uh, open the account for Manly. It was probably two points they would never have expected after having that try scored against them. In these conditions, I'm sure the Cowboys were just going to look to, to work it out and get the kick downfield as they had done in the first few minutes of the game. And done it well, but the penalty is something that Manly would be happy about, I'm sure. Camilla driven sideways. Walters looking for a big game and maybe looking for a new contract. Menzies. Goes again. Adam Peters. For Tuvi. Tuvi picks up another five metres from acting half. Kosef pops into that position now. Field. Lions. Terry Hill. On the right side of the field, always so hard to pull down. A leading try scorer in both competitions last year with 22 tries. Goes back through the feet there of Scott Mann. Mann does he get out? Back over there. It's going to be a drop out, Terry. That was great play from Craig Field. He put the kick in. And geez, he worked out on the track on the chase. He didn't make the tackle on Mann here, but he slowed him up enough to allow Menzies and Co to come in and finish him off. Mann almost got out there. That last player in probably just pushed that ball back over the line. Yeah, he made a good recovery after conceding the early try. They've got a penalty, and now they get another six tackles. Yeah. Regardless of the conditions, you know with Cliff Lines in the side that Manly will move the ball around. And now that they've got this, this bit of field position, I'm sure we'll see him and Menzies looking to combine. Josef, Albert Torrens, right and quick. Field delivers a beautiful ball for Lyons. Lyons behind the back of Phillips. Duncan gets away from one. What about his try scoring form, Alf Duncan? 14 tries in 13 games. Not a bad strike rate. In fact, he scored in the last eight games. At least one try for Manly. Final tackle now for the home side. They go to the right. Field with the kick. Scott Mann has had a lot of work to do so far in this game. Tough conditions for all players, but particularly a fullback. Yeah, it, it certainly is. And, and good play again there from Craig Field. He put that, that kick looking for the in-goal area. Didn't quite find it. He came up with the tackle himself. The Cowboys doing it tough now, working out of their own end, as they made Manly do early in the game. Cunningham, lines on the hard work. Just the one try so far for the season. Lock. Likes to offload the ball if he can. Back for Dunaman. He'll go to the right boot. Looks away from Phillips, but Phillips covered some pretty good ground to get there. We've seen him at 5'8 earlier in the season, Mario Fennick, where he played with some great effect, and now he's back at fullback. Well, he's a quality player. He, he, he handles the 5'8 position very well, as we see Terry Hill uh, almost picked up there. But he's a good player, Phillips. He's a good kick kicker of the ball. Very good hands. Uh, he, was, he played for North Queensland, actually. So there's a mistake there. Yep. That's play on. Shipway's come up with it. So Mark Shipway. There's a back. Duneman's off. Looking for a hole. The Cowboys are certainly throwing caution to the wind here. Ferris for Lock. Looking for the offload. Walters. Ferris again. Takes on the defensive line. Flicks it out the back. Deep for Duneman. Duneman, a great ball. Great mercy it is on the far side. Shipway. Lomax. Second receiver. Ferris locked up in that tackle. And Manly sustained the pressure. Duneman, little kick through. They played at it. It's six to go. 
Golden chance now for the Cowboys. They go to the left. Shipway, the former center turn back rower. Taking the ground five meters out. Ray Mercy is there. Likes to have a run from acting half. And he does exactly that. Now they've just got one meter. Short of the line. Walters. Duneman. Ferris again. Scott Mann. Hannay. He's picked up one try. Loses it. The ball went back. It should be play on. It's not six to go. It is six to go. The third set in a row for the Cowboys now as Martin Locke bumps it forward. And should convert this possession into points. Lomax has players in motion. That's on the line himself. Walters to Ferris. Ferris, cut out ball. Hennay, one-on-one -on -one tackle. They can't make it. Hennay picks up his second try. Two for the game in the space of 12 minutes. Great play, Josh Hennay. That's really stand up and take a bow. It's a strong run. The try he scored first, first up early in the game. I like the way they just gave him the ball and, and, and respected his ability. He's a young guy, but they just gave him the ball similar to this situation and let him do his stuff. Got straight over the top of one tackle there. From Albie Torrens and second try for the match. I mentioned he was a rising star. I think he's already arrived, Jason. I've got to say, I hadn't seen a great deal of him before today, Terry, but in only 15 minutes or so of football, he's done extremely well. And add to that, Mario Fennick, he can also kick. <laughs> Yeah, he capitalised. There's a the replay there on a, on a missed tackle by Torrens. He's a good young player, Torrens. But 10 metres out from your line, you just can't afford to miss tackles like that. It's a regulation tackle, and he misses it. And uh, that's been two tries of uh, with misses. We saw Hopawade miss the first one, and now Torrens. Josh Henner struck the first conversion quite well. It was just wide of the post. This is his second try. Virtually the same position. Moves in. He has missed just by a whisper. But this time on the right-hand side. The scoreline, eight points to two. Not too many sides can defend against three sets of six. I don't care who you are. Cowboys have got their third set. Nice pass there by Duneman. And then it's a one-on-one -on -one miss. Torrance, uh, bad luck there for the kid. He's going to learn from that. That's a try. And Jason, I'll ask the question to you. In these conditions, wet, muddy, harder to make the one on one tackle with the moisture around on players' bodies and arms slipping off legs. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. He looks like a, a, a strong lad. The fact that he got through Hopawati <laughs> early in the game, we know the strength of, of John Hopawati. So Josh Henna is certainly going to be a handful for the rest of this game in these conditions. Manly are playing for their survival in the race for the top ten. Don't forget that. If they win today, they move into ninth position. Equal with Canterbury. Dunham. The kick for Phillips. Apawate comes around the back. They love him here at Brookvale. That's one of the reasons why. Cunningham got him from behind. Field is knocked on just when they were starting to build a touch of momentum. Well, there's no doubt about that. The, the run from John Hopperado was a great one. And that really lifts your team when, when a side scores against you and you're defending and then one of your, your, your players does that on the, the first or second tackle. It really lifts the spirits of the side, but probably just took the eyes off the ball there, Craig Field. And Fine, in you go. That doesn't help the spirits whatsoever, oh, Terry. The in, Nick. They've had plenty of possession. Hamminger is 2-0. to nil. Duneman. Little kick. Kicking on the first tackle. There's nobody there at the moment. And they got there. They've lost the ball. They've turned it over the Cowboys. So often the, the right option here is to try to pick the ball up and not try and kick it again. But in these situations, it's so tough to pick a ball up like that on the run. Thought maybe if you had to put that one on the foot. Then again, to dive on it with, with five tackles up the sleeve, but the chance was there if he picks it up cleanly. It's a try. Field now. Right boot kick. 
Menzies is chasing this through. Scott Martin did it well. There they go. Again, they've done a good job of getting out of their own territory, the Cowboys. Walters picks up Martin Locke again. Seven offloads last week. Just the one try for the season for Locke. Walters, he just keeps the Cowboys going forward. Jason Deeth. Lomax. They're playing with plenty of confidence, the Cowboys. They're steamrolling their way forward against Manly. And a little no knock hand, on. You lost it. Both teams doing their best at the moment to give the opposition the momentum. The Cowboys were going well. Craig Field had a go at raking that one out and was unsuccessful. And there may have just been a little hand in there from Nick Kossef. Come on, Sheriff. How the back, boys? Talking about it's Josh right, Henne, Terry, he's playing in the centres today, but he's wearing the number two jersey, which, which I, as I mentioned, I haven't seen a great deal of him, but the way he's played in this first opening 20 minutes, centres looks like the way to go for me. Get the ball in his hands and let him do some more of that damage. He can do plenty of damage as this man can. Menzies picked up a hat trick last week against the Adelaide Rams. And that formidable combination with Cliff Lyons is Nick Kosev. Tackle just short of the halfway line now for Manly. That's Adam Peters. Midway through this opening half. The score line eight points to two. Field for Lyons. Linking up with Terry Hill. That ball went forward off the hand of Terry Hill. No, it didn't, according to referee Bill Harrigan. Phillips plays it back. Lyons again. They should get a kick away here. Craig Field hurried with that one. Scott Mann goes back for the Cowboys. Allows it to bounce. Field chased through. That man in jumper number 18 is Adam Warwick. Both teams playing with plenty of confidence, Terry. Scott Mann confident enough to throw that pass. And the first tackle only 10 metres out from his line there. The nice wet area just around the middle of the field where the players are now. Jason Deeth. Steve Walters goes over the halfway line. Plenty of experience there. 15 test matches and 14 origin games for Walters. Nice kick. Once again, splitting the winger and the fullback. Luke Phillips up against his former club from last year. A club that he scored 122 points with last year in 17 games. Realises the dilemma man they have now placed themselves in. Menzies out of one, looking to get that ball back to Cliff Lyons. Normally it's the other way around. Yeah, that was great work from Andrew Duneman there. He, he, he closed line, uh, Menzies down and, and made him unable to get that pass back on the inside. Alf Duncan, the ball for Terry Hill. Hill back for Lyons. Lyons, was he tackled before he had the ball? Yeah. Yes, he was. Without the ball, tackled. Terry Hill got it back on the inside and Cliff Lyons just tackled before the ball came to him. Probably knocked back and play on from Emily anyway there, so. Yeah, Ferris it was who came in. Tackled him just before the ball arrived. It's hard not to do, you know he's going to catch it. You don't want to let him, Cliff Lyons, a player of his class, have the ball with too much time, so tackle him before he gets it. Anthony Cavella. Kosef now. Kosef. Ahead of Streamer. Just one move short of the line. Kalela loses the ball. A little so knock on. They count just the same. The Referee Bill Harrigan right on the spot. Both teams look dangerous. Yeah, that was knocked out by Steve Waters, but he wasn't playing at the ball. He was just coming in for the tackle. Both teams look dangerous when they've got the ball and, and, and hold it for a few sets of six. Or, or at least a few tackles. It's just a matter of, of which team can really gain the ascendancy and, and, and have the, the majority of time in the opposition's half. They're going to get on top of this game. The Cowboys have done it well so far, but Manly have looked OK with, it, with limited opportunities. The Cowboys are on 18 competition points, Mario Fennick, but they're playing like the team that are desperate to make the top 10. You well, 
There's a penalty, a, a turn of events there. A merely get the football. There's a replay there. Let's have a look. Quick sticky. Yeah, he uh, doesn't take his feet. Actually, the penalty's quite hard. The head-on shot will probably show us a bit more. Yeah, lost ball there. I don't know what the penalty's for. Probably should have been a scrum, but merely coached Bob Footman in pulling his hair out. Merely had a couple of good opportunities and lost the ball on early tackles. Let's see what they can do on this set. They're winning the penalty count, and that's about it at the moment. Field. Anthony Cavella. They look as if they're going to go to the right. They do exactly that for a closer. Inside ball, Gartner. Just hangs on. Tuvi picks up Cliff Lyons for Menzies. Menzies, good hands for Hopawate. Hopawate cuts back on the inside. Phillips, and it's Luke Phillips who scores against his old club. The try is given. Manly get back to within two points of the Cowboys. That was a great tackle from Scott Martin there to stop John Hopalade only a metre out. And he got the pass away to Phillips who scored in the corner. This is a nice play ball from Cliff Lyons there. Across the face of one player, picked up Steve Menzies. Got it on to Hopalade. And that was the tackle there I was talking about. And then Phillips over in the corner. You've probably got to go back to that penalty. And, and the player did clearly put the ball on the ground before he got to his feet. That's what Bill Harrigan's penalising them for. It's given Manly a couple of opportunities. This time they've made it four-pointer out of it this pass from from cliff lines across the face of one player there albie torrens it was onto steve menzies got it on to hop he thought he was going to score i think coming back on the inside and he tips it on to here's the penalty now we see him he does drop the ball but you're not allowed to put the ball on the ground before you get up the referees have been pretty clear on that all year luke phillips That record intact at the moment from today. He's kicking at 61%. This is a very tough one. Mario the Breeze, is it helping or hindering him? No, there's not too much to bru of Breeze to speak of. Uh, conditions are uh, yeah, not, not very breezy, so uh, I don't think the wind's going to play a part in this. I tell you, this would be an important conversion to take the scores at 8 all. It's a good kick, okay. He has struck it magnificently from the sideline. The flags are up. We have a tied up ball game at Brookvale. Eight points apiece. It's worth four points that kick. Set play by Mealy. Quality possession they use it. Nice pass by Lions. It was a set play. They all knew. A nice pass to Menzies. I suspect he could have scored here, Hopawade, but done the, did the smart thing. A little bit of an offload there. And they're back. Eight all. They had a couple of opportunities, Manly, and they've scored once. One roll off in quick market. The boys have had plenty of ball, but they've paid a hefty price for trying to play the ball quickly on two occasions have been penalised by referee Bill Harrigan, and justifiably so. Again, an untidy play the ball. Tuvi. Into the forwards. Camilla picks up field. Kosef delivers a beautiful ball. Terry Hill. Daniel Gartner. Up over the halfway line. Cunningham went low. Curry over the top. Field again. A little kick. Lions chasing through. Adam Warwick did extremely well. Scott Mann puts the step off. The Ali shuffle. I don't know where he got that from. Josh Henne has two tries. Spins out of another tackle. Mario appears, John Hopawate, in a bit of touch of trouble. Yeah, he, he appears to have a leg injury there. Uh, it happened right near me. He sort of might be a bit of a cork or so, but uh, actually a number of the games I've seen Manly play this year, Hopawate often looks for a little bit of a breather at the, in the sideline, especially when, when he's in the back row. They need him today, I tell you, it's an important game. This guy is doing very well, Phillips. And yeah, looking for a big game against his old club. Lions, Craigfield, Menzies. Menzies looking to try and combine with Terry Hill. Terry Hill back on the inside and 
Lindsay is just losing control of the ball. Yeah, John Doyle it was coming across on the inside and just whacked the arm there of Steve Menzies, forced the ball free. Menzies' foot came in contact and went over the sideline, so a good opportunity for the Cowboys. Both teams sort of getting a chance, making the most of it, and then allowing the opposition back at them. Ray Merson takes off. Picks up Andrew Duneman. Duneman shuffles before the line. Adam Warwick playing on the right wing. There's no Nolan Andrew. Curry. Michael Curry, who started his career as a prop, is now on the wing. They have numbers on the left. Manly, they number up quickly, though. And they snuff out that chance by the Cowboys. Two tackles left. Duneman. Cut out ball. Deep. Short ball. Hannay again. Surely not. Not try number three. Driven back this time. Final tackle. It should go to Duneman. It does. Cross field kick. Could be dangerous. Lions is there. It's been knocked on by the Cowboys. And Luke Phillips. The advantage is here. Zero there. It'll be a changeover and zero tackle. Well, there were plenty of defenders when Josh Henne got the ball that time. Here's the kick. Duneman put it high. Manly probably did well there. They knew it was far enough away from their own try line to, to have to go for it. But the Cowboys make a mistake, or even if the Cowboys catch it, you tackle them quickly, it's a changeover. The kick has always been a very effective weapon, Mario, for the North Queensland Cowboys. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Tim seems to be very happy with the way that his side's playing. Very imaginative in attack, as we see Turby down the short side. They're really testing this Manly side. Ferris and Duneman, he's the outstanding Duneman. They've, uh, you know, obviously Hannay another one, but uh, they're going very well on attack. They're controlling the football. Lions wraps around with Luke Phillips. Luke Phillips and the Cowboys have come up with it. Ball. Now, he's called the knock-on from the Cowboys. Has he called a knock-on from Manly first? No, no that's, that's the sweet. question. There's, was backwards. There's the knock-on yeah, there. So he's it. called the Manly. You hear him there saying that the, the Manly pass went backwards. The Cowboys have knocked it on, so that'll be a Manly feed. Second ten locks in. An important call, Manly that one. Manly prop inside, put back. That's your hole there. Great, put it in. Hole. Scrums of 4 one for the Cowboys. Field. Terry Hill, crunching tackle on Terry Hill. Alf Duncan, looking to continue his amazing strike rate at finding the try line. Gartner, quick hands there. This is Jason Lucy. Slow play the ball, ship weight. Goes over the top with Tuvi picking up another 10 metres. himself at acting up the closer Albert Torrance got away from one final tackle now for Manly two wants it quickly Craig Field long ball the kick well Duncan I thought he had a good head start there taking our point it was a good option the, the Cowboys were, were bunched a bunch but just a, a condensed defense there had some space he was onside, he got there quickly. The, the kick just a little bit too big from Craig Field. If you can place that one so the winger just runs straight onto it, it's very hard to defend against. Josef and Menzies combined. Jason Deeth, just short of the halfway line. Man picks up Dunham. They don't want to play in their own territory. That kick, perfect by Andrew Duneman. Phillips could do absolutely nothing about that. They're doing it well at the moment, the Cowboys. Manly probably looking to put a few plays on that, that aren't the right option in, in, in the end of the field that they've been at for most of this game. Last time they, they were let off the hook with the fact that the Cowboys knocked it on and they came up with a loose ball. Back up there, Cowboys right? not start making time. the same mistakes. They're just working right. their set to Get six out it. of the halfway. Duneman kicking it down. This time he found touch. The other times he's he's making the fullback and wingers work hard. Yeah, he's waiting for another mistake from the Manly side. 
Collins plays it, posts it, wraps around off the back of Craig Field. Picks up a good 15 metres to Daniel Garten. Garten. They hit the line, Anthony Camilla. He's one of the superstars of the finals last year for Manly Camilla. Or well, Jason Deeth. Didn't play at that ball desperately enough. I think this is going to be the same result as, as the one we saw before, where Manly have passed the ball backwards. And Deeth's come up with a knock on there. So it's going to be a Manly feed again. Mario, would you have liked to have seen Jason Deeth just fall on that ball and and wrap it up. Very fortunate for Manly. Uh, I know that uh, Bob Fulton and uh, Harrigan have had their problems. You see Terry Hill. Off he goes. Duncan down the right-hand side, Mario. There are uh, a couple of decisions have gone against uh, this North Queensland side. Referees probably on the spot, but generally if a team drops the ball, the other team get the football. So you see Jeff Kirby down on the ground now, but very fortunate Manly with a couple of penalties. Doing them and you don't see Tuvi stay down too often. And it was just a, a full on front on hit by Andrew Dunaman. Don't believe anything untowards. Certainly not in that situation, you wouldn't see Jeff Tuvi staying down. He knows his team are on the on the attack with an opportunity to do something with the ball, so it's hard to tell. I suppose the shoulder is fairly high there. Well, normally, if you see Tuvi stay down, Mario, he's just been hit by a, a big prop forward or a back row. You don't see him too often from well, well, he's tough for a little man, very, very strong. Uh, the tackle didn't look too bad to me. I, I, I didn't see anything untoward in the tackle, but Tuvi, one of the toughest men in the game, uh, a little man with big in, big in heart, and, and it looks like he's OK there. He's going to play the football. Hosef takes off. Manly a chance to build some pressure. Lions. Dummies to Menzies. Picks up Albert Torrens. Torrens to Hopolato. Hopolato too big and strong. Oh, Lions. So close. Kept it on the toe. And Torrens comes up with it. And the Lions back up. And yep. the grandstand side had the flag up about five Trump, minutes ago Trump, and I've wasted a bit of breath. So he's obviously got Hopawati here for going into touch before he kicked it. Good call. See his foot on the line as he goes to kick this ball. There it is, there. And he gets the kick in, so good decision there. The line's been a wrap on that occasion, Mario. Yeah, I was just about to say, I, I, I gave uh, Albert Torrance a bit of a pay for missing that tackle, but he's a player of great potential. He's hit a couple of good holes. He's a real speed star. He's got a lot of potential. Certainly. Six tries for the season, Albert Torrance. The Cowboys have weathered a couple of onslaughts from Manly in the last five minutes. The scoreline remains tied up at eight points apiece. Inside the final five minutes of this opening half, Phillips stands his ground under this one. Makes it superbly on the fingertips. Picks up Duncan. Off Duncan. Torrance slips under one tackle from Josh Henne. the grandstand side through Garten. We've had enough, it's too long. And then the hand in there. Get up off Andrew the ground get away was, from it, too long. Just trying to slow no, down John, the play the ball. Bill Harrigan making it quite clear that he doesn't want any more of it either. So the replay and just the hand on the ball, a lot of sides do employ that tactic just to, to slow the opposition down. You're scared to try and play it too fast when his hand's in there because you, you're worried the ball may come loose. Right past Peters, they pick up Pelella. Suffered a bad back injury earlier on this season. Hosa. Terry Hill wants to take on Ray Mercy one on one. 
Gautner again. They're just 20 meters away from the try line now. Field arrives. Picks up his old mate Menzies. Luke Phillips, the dummy, the inside ball, and Albert Torrens scores Manly's second try, and he grabs the lead back. They lead now by 12 to 8. Great try. Nice play from the Seagulls. They, they tried this play earlier around halfway, and it came unstuck for them. The ball went to ground. This time it was perfect. Menzies got it and just turned it on the outside to Phillips coming on an angle. He turned it straight back inside to Albert Torrens. Lions just moved it straight to Menzies. It's not often he gets the ball with time to do something with it before the line. And it was a nice dummy from Phillips, wasn't it? He had men on the outside. The Cowboys defenders were worried about those guys. They were looking to get out there quickly. And the dummy was all it was needed. And John Hopmawati having a bit of fun, as he likes to do after his team get over the try line. <laughs> well, field. Nice ball by Lions. Quick hands from Menzies and Luke Phillips. He's got a, a background in basketball and Aussie rules, but he, he plays rugby league OK also. It's just a nice arc that that Phillips is coming on there. Where the Cowboys are looking up in defence and one minute he's not in the line and, and all of a sudden he is and puts the defence under pressure and that was how the trial was created. It's a chance now he set up that try. He scored the first one for Manly. He's converted one from the sideline. And Luke Phillips completes that one. And now they lead by 14 points to eight. Yeah, it was a great opportunity for Manly just before half time to put a nail in the coffin of the Cowboys. Set play, Lions. Nice rotating play there. And the dummy, Hannay Force was going back inside of Torrance, who's got a ton of potential. A great work for Manly at half time. 14 8. Mario, some concerns for the Cowboys. They had those couple of knock ons on the first tackle. And of course, then Dunaman giving away that penalty in the play the ball area. That's allowed Manly to really find their feet a touch. Well, it's been a wholehearted effort from the North Queensland Cowboys. They played very well, as you see, two of almost go through. We saw them play very well against the Broncos. Even though they were beaten, they played very tough football. And today they bought their football boots again. They're a side that uh, have made a couple of mistakes. But at this stage, uh, Tim Sheens will be very happy with them. Menzies stretches out now, Steve Menzies. And they picked up a little Lost. knock on. The ball came from the touch judge. Steve! Steve! I had a look at it too. In here. We'll get a closer look at it, Jason. Yeah, Steve Menzies doesn't seem to be happy about it. Well, there's a hand in there from That's Ray exactly Mercy. Here we go, come on. In. No doubt the hand was in there. Train around the back door. They're, they're just such tough situations, though. Every time there's a hand in there, does it knock the ball out or not? It's so hard to pick it. Gurdman. They'd like to strike back, but they're not going to get a chance. This should be the last tackle of the opening half. In fact, it is. Josh Henner. He scored two tries. He goes to ground with the ball. Jeff Tuvey, very eager to get into the dressing room. Manly, they are in front by 14 points to eight. Two tries apiece so far. And Manly, the home side, playing for survival in the race for the top ten. They lead by 14 to eight. We'll take a short break. That's true, but when they went to their early lead, as we see the Eagles there in, in no hurry to get out at the moment. Well, why would you be? When they went to the early lead, the Cowboys, they they didn't do it through just throwing the ball out around and not caring. They did it by playing good field position and putting the Eagles under some pressure. So in these conditions, that's the way you're going to win the game. So regardless if you can make the semis or not, it's nice to go out a winner. And I'm sure that's the way they'll look to do it in this second half. Bob Fulton, though, will be happy, I think, with Manly's composure. They, they were behind, and, and the Cowboys were doing it well. They made a few mistakes early, but they just kept their heads and got themselves back into the game, and, and now they're looting on the scoreboard. Steve Waters. Very relaxed, isn't he? 47 career tries for Steve Waters. 228 games he played for the Canberra Raiders. 
what a remarkable record he has. He played in all those title successes also, Jason, in 89, 90 and 94. He also played in the title losses for the Canberra Raiders, but he has three premierships under his belt. He's, been, he's had a great career, hasn't he? He's been an absolutely great player. Him and Cliff Lyons both out there today. Two of the great players over the last 10 years or more. Steve Waters, he, he's set the standard for the, in the last 10 years for, for the dummy half role. The way he scoots out a dummy half when, when there's any sort of an opportunity and makes the opposition pay for it. And he's still a hooker. Okay, he's not a half back. It's people. true. Not too many left, are there? We are underway now for the second 40 minutes of this game. Manly lead by 14 points to eight. And they've come up with a great start. Manzies, the one-on-one -on -one steal. The step, the swerve. He goes to within five metres. Manly on the boil now against the Cowboys. Field, dummies, inside ball. Gartner, one metre short. He get up, he wants a quick play the ball, Daniel Gartner. They stretch it. Field. Shipway got up on him quickly. Turnerman can't gather it. Adam Peters did a good job. Tuvi. Lions back on the angle for Nick Kosef. Kosef. Duderman made a good tackle. Standing. Field. Oh, he had to stretch Alf Duncan. Duncan stretches out again. Taking the ground five metres out. The Cowboys on the back foot at this stage. Field. They've raced up quickly. Certainly he was offside by offside 10 metres. Yeah, didn't play it. Let's go sideline now strong. and Mario Fenn. Yeah, thank you. I've got Marty Gurr, the assistant coach for Manly. We saw the Cowboys capitalise on a number of errors from Manly early in the game, but slowly but surely Manly were able to work their way back in and control the football. Uh, take a lead at half-time. Uh, obviously, Coach Bob Fulton would have been happy. Yeah, we were happy you know, to get back and sort of get when we got a decent uh, rate of possession. We were able to uh, start to complete our sets at six and uh, start to put some pressure on the Cowboys' defence. Obviously, they put quite a bit of pressure on us early on with regards to the amount of possession they had. Yeah, they're, they're, they've certainly put their best foot forward, the Cowboys. There's Lomax there with a pretty good run. Obviously, this is a game you must win. Uh, what about the second half? What do you see uh, must happen if you're going to win this game in the second half? Well, obviously, you know, we want to keep putting a little bit more pressure on them down there into the field. But, I mean, as, as you say, it's very critical, this 40 minutes for our season. And uh, the players are conscious of that, and the, and the effort's going to have to uh, be there. We saw two tries to Hannay as we see a nice passage of play there. They were just one-on-one -on -one misses. Uh, I think Hoppawade missed one, and Albie Torrens missed one. One-on-one -on -one misses cost you two tries. Yeah, very much so. And, and, and those blokes are aware of it and uh, are looking to rectify it in the second half. Well, good luck, mate, in the second half. Uh, you really need this game. Thanks, Mario. Thanks for your time. Back to you, boys. Thanks very much, Mario Finnick and also Marty Gurr. And Manly is starting to really find some holes in this Cowboys defence now. They're making some easy metres. Luke Phillips. Canella. Oh, loose ball from Adam Peters. And the Cowboys. They don't have too much possession in the second half. Both teams did a bit of that in the first half. They, they gained a bit of ascendancy. And then turn turn the ball over with it with a silly mistake and a simple one at that and give the opposition a chance. Well, Ferris, Jason V. Over the advantage line. Back it goes, Dunaman. John Doyle shows it for Scott Mark. He's inside the 20, but only just. Low match the decoy. Dunaman. Stepping. Canella over the top. Joseph down below. Doyle. Onto the toe. The knock on. Gone in Duncan front of the just line couldn't scrum. field it. Mario Fenix sideline. I've got the assistant coach for the Cowboys, Murray Hurst. And Murray, a wholehearted effort by the Cowboys following up from last week's great effort against the Broncos. A couple of silly mistakes of seeing you behind at half time. Yeah, absolutely, Mario. We, uh, we're very unhappy with our edge defence, uh, namely down the, down the sidelines, and uh, it's something that we've been working on greatly, and uh, the, the tries to date really have been a result of that. We're and, not happy with it. How about we just watch this passage of play and we'll come back. Back to you, Terry. Josh Hannay scored two tries in the opening half. Steve Walters races into acting half. Back for Dunaman. Martin Rock. Will he flick it out the back? They wrap him up well. Gartner. His long arms wrapping up the ball. Dunaman again. 
Lomax has been inspirational for the Cowboys. Be careful, careful with this play the ball. Dudeman back to the right. The little kick. They use it effectively. Phillips. Mario Fennick, they'll get a third set of six. Yeah, obviously you'd be happy with this start. Uh, some pretty good quality field position. The great thing about the Cowboys today is they're controlling the football. Yeah, we have a fairly good uh, control right in the first half. You know, completions 14 out of 17 by my count. But uh, if, we, if we can maintain some of this field position and uh, go through some of the plays that we're, we're supposed to be enacting, I'm sure that we'll uh, come up with a try or two. We haven't seen the Cowboys too many times this year, but you'd have to say Dunaman's a player of quality. Josh Hannay, two tries. So certainly the Cowboys have got a few players that can score tries. Yeah, that, that is the case. Uh, Josh has come up with a couple today, and I think he's got about 15 this year. So you know, at 18 years of age, he's a good prospect. And uh, Andrew's always uh, uh, going to give defences a bit of problem. But our, our people at the front, I, I think, are going quite well, and they're going, going forward well. If we can maintain possession, complete sets, we'll go well. Well, Murray, appreciate your time. and really enjoy the uh, Sydney afternoon. It's a beautiful day today for us. And uh, really appreciate, appreciate your time. Good luck. Yeah, thanks very much, Frank. Back to you, boys. Yeah, it's a long way from tropical Queensland, isn't it? Steve Walters flings it out the back for Dunaman. Dunaman kicks again. That's a well-timed kick, and he gets try number three. Josh Hannah. He picks up the hat trick, and he timed the run to perfection. Well, that was the type of kick I was talking about in the first half that Craig Fuhr put across. The one from Fuhr was just a little bit too long. Walters snuck out a dummy half and got a pass away. Now he brought the defence to him, Dunham, and he did well. He ran to the line, brought the defence up. It had the winger worried about the fact that he might have been going to pass to his opposite man, Henne. And then the kick was perfectly weighted. Picked it up on the bounce, brought the line forward, put the kick across. Henne timed his run beautifully. And Hopawadi, it was just too tough for Hopawadi. He had to be up in case Dunaman threw a long pass to Henne there. And once he did come up, Dunaman chipped it over his head. Great play. Oh, Jason, I touched on it earlier, how effective they have kicked throughout the season. The halves for the North Queensland Cowboys, Ferris and Dunaman. And the wingers have done a good job in Henne. And Mercy on occasion and Curry. Henne looking for his first goal of the afternoon. He strikes this one well, but it's waved away again. The scoreline remains 14 points to 12. The mail I'm getting is South Sydney have signed Dunaman, so what a quality signing that is. There's Dunaman with the football now. Jason Taylor said it. Takes a lot of skill with a kick like this. Hopawade probably should have been a bit more urgent. Hannay, try number three. I think you're pretty well close to the mark with that mail, Mario Fennick. He's a quality player. I think that so far he's been the standout. Oh, yeah. He was a schoolboy superstar. I remember a long time ago. Andrew Dunaman. And he's gone. Oh, just a little bit over keen there. John Doyle off the bench. It's amazing how this game keeps turning around, Terry. Both sides get an opportunity, they score a try, and then they seem to want to invite the opposition back in. Manly, you mentioned early in the, in the first few minutes of this half, were, were really making some great inroads. They made a mistake, gave the Cowboys a chance. They've scored. Now the Cowboys turn around and give Manly a great opportunity. Because John Marley came up with that error. The North Queensland Cowboys. It's Posey for Gartner. They're on the attack man the field. Terry Hill. One on one, very hard to stop. Reaches out. He points it down. I think Terry Hill has scored a very good try here. Harrigan will have a the ball going down. down. I just checked the touch line. All right, okay. The touch judge stood in, in the field of play. He didn't go into the in goal area, which makes me yeah, think. Look. I got no problem with the ball going down. We're checking, checking the touch line. It doesn't seem as though the touch judge has seen anything, but he's not confident. Well, keep so an eye on the right the boot here of Terry Hill. I mentioned how hard he is to stop. He's out. Touch judge has done a good job on this occasion. And this is the benefit of the video referee. It sure is. It was a great effort from Terry Hill. He held off two players, and at first glance, we thought it was a try. It's just... 
probably the slipperiness of the ground. The studs just slipped across the line there before he put the ball down. But look at that, he's holding off two plays to get that ball down in the corner. No try. Mario so close, wasn't it? And it was a big effort by Terry Hill. He's not happy there's Terry Hill there, but I'll tell you what, it's a good effort. He really tries to hold on. There's the footy there. Look at those two blokes trying to push him out. What's that right foot? And that is a good decision. Thank God for the technology. I know it gets a bag, but oh, that's the day that saves the day. I can understand why he's so disappointed, Terry Hill, because it was such a big effort. And he realised he had to try and squeeze that right arm past the corner post. He didn't knock that. He just couldn't control the other part of his body. That was the right boot. Well, his eyes were on the try line. His eyes weren't on his right boot. And he probably still believes he scored the try. But when he sees the replay, he'll know that they, they got the decision right. Shipper. Steve Walters. He's had a very good game for the Cowboys, Walters. He starts so much for them. He takes off from dummy half. And then you've got Deeth, who's also... A great dummy half jumps in there after him, but Walters takes off from dummy half and just gets the momentum of the side moving. Doyle. Back it goes for Dunamo. He's kicked well today. This is a very good kicking game. Oh, Fennick pretty happy he's going to the Rabbitohs. And he's over the top of the head. High tackle. It's still around his head. Another one watch him. Drop him down. Get a closer look at this. Henne and oh, I think that's a pretty tough call, Mario, against Josh Henne. Yeah, quite quite uh, accidental, but it certainly was a high tackle. I think uh, Harrigan's right there. I don't really like to agree with Phil Harrigan too many times, but <laughs> I feel he's right there. A bit of possession there for Neely. Here comes Peters. Adam Peters. Good charge. Gartner. He's 35 metres out, Manly. This game well and truly in the balance. 30 minutes to go, plenty of time left. 14-12 the score. Phillips slices them wide open again. Good one-on-one -on -one tackle there by Scott Marn, though. Full back on full back. He has to race back into position now. Mekosek looking to drive Manly further into the lead. The Cowboys have scored three tries to two. They trail on the scoreboard. Two. Kalela. Out of one. Bumps off another. Taking the ground one metre out. Quick play the ball. Lions. For Terry Hill. The feet. The scissor kick. He missed it on two occasions. Duncan. Out the back for Menzies. Menzies. Well, the pass was a beauty from Duncan. And Menzies was there to pick up a try. Look at the reaction from the Manly players. They know they're in a game out there today. There's no doubt it's important that they win the game, but, but the reaction on their faces tells you that they know it's not an easy one to win, and they're working hard to do it. This is a great flick pass. Means he's always on the spot. It was a fairly ordinary ball from Cliff Lines over the top. There was an early opportunity. Got this one out, it hit the ground. Terry Hill had to kick it, as you mentioned. That was a good pickup from Duncan because it wasn't easy in these conditions, and then the flick pass was beautiful. He just always seems to be in the right spot, Steve Menzies, doesn't he? I know the Cowboys got a surprise, but I think Steve Menzies got a bit of a surprise also when that, that ball came out the back from Duncan. It was a nice ball, though. And he accepted it with open arms. Steve Menzies. A try-scoring freak. 16 tries for the season in 22 games. And don't forget, involved in the Origin Series, it's been a very long season for many of these players. Yeah, it's been a tough season. With 24 competition games without a break, put the representative games on top, it is a long season, and they're fighting hard here today to make it go even longer, aren't they? Yeah, they just want to keep on playing. Nobody wants to stop at the end of this month. Phillips. Unsuccessful on this occasion, but he's kicked superbly today. The scoreline 18 12. You need a certain amount of luck, luck in rugby league. What's Terry Hill trying to kick that ball out? Nice play there. What about that for a flick pass by Duncan? Menzies, it's no fluke. He scores so many tries, and they needed that manly. 18 points to 12. 
they certainly did need it. John Doyle with the restart. Good deep kick. Phillips takes it. That Kosev. Curry makes the tackle. I believe he started his career as a prop. Michael Curry, the number five for the Cowboys. Menzies is lining up now after scoring that try. They go to the open side. Daniel Gartner. His work rate's been good as a prop forward, Mario. He's. Uh... He's very quick. Uh, but look, the game's changed in the front row these days. Mobility's a key, and Gartner's got that. Manly throwing the ball around now. There's Kalela. He held the football. It's, look at the mud in that patch. Yeah, he's found the muddiest part of Brookvale Oval. Well positioned, Scott Mark. Lines up. Brings it back some 23 metres. Away he goes in ship one. Right hand side, Doyle, inside ball for Josh Henne. He scored three tries, it's three tries apiece. They lead by six points, Manly. They'd like to get at least seven points in front. Get away from that converted try from the Cowboys. Lomax, good offload. Just went to ground though, Duneman had to go back. Final tackle now. High bomb. Well, Duncan has knocked on. He had plenty of time. And Michael Curry was a good 10 or 15 metres away. Alf Duncan had it all to himself. I'll tell you what didn't help him. The fact that the ball was, was played in that quagmire in the middle of the field just beforehand. It came down with plenty of that mud on it. And then Duncan just let it slide through the fingers. And the error is 9 to 6. Golden opportunity for the Cowboys to tie this ball game up. Duneman scheming. Hannay has three tries. He'll take four. Don't worry about that. Shipway edges his way to within three metres of the try line. Walters. For Doyle. Players in motion. Nice dummy. Back for Jason Deep. Right hand side, there's an opportunity for the Cowboys. That's the direction they go. Duneman, they'll run the ball. Josh Henna, they've been so successful with the little kick. Again, they've gone from acting up and they've scored the try. Double Still movement, short, Terry. Improved it. Well, Harrigan, I would need to go to the video referee on this occasion. It's Malu. He bounces, in fact, he promotes. He tried to bounce. <laughs> he tried to bounce, but it's so tough. There it is. There's the line. Yeah. Surely I'm allowed to reach out and put it down there, aren't I? Four points. No, you're not, son. I can tell you what, Mario. He was well positioned, Bill Harrigan, for that decision. He was right on the spot. He was. You've got to feel sorry for the young kid. Uh, the temptation must have been at an all-time high. Uh, if he, if he tries not to reach out, who knows, he might have got pushed over anyway. But Bill Harrigan right on the spot, correct decision. Mario, what about this? 60 minutes gone in this game and the Cowboys have not received a penalty to date. Yeah, well, uh, the referees will say, well, obviously they've, uh, they, don't, they haven't deserved a penalty. But uh, I think Bill Harrigan's had a pretty good game. A couple of questionable decisions, but generally... The referee has a feature. There's clipping lines here with a nice offload. Oh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I'm just saying. Yeah, you're trying Long to throw time to get a penalty. I wouldn't throw you in. Craig Field has a man on the left-hand side. Kosev striding down now. Oh, Opawate lost his footing. Across it comes for Field. The kick. They have players to burn. What about Menzies? Well, he had time to set up camp and score. He took the barbie on the way as well. Smart play, Craig Field. We're talking about the one that he tried to do in the first half, but it was just a little bit too long. This one was perfect. This was the first break. Field went through, got the pass on the outside. Kosev turned Hopawati inside. I thought he was a chance to score until he slipped straight over. 
from the plate of boy the, the cowboys defense you see them there they got off the line quickly to try and shut it down a very smart play from craig field as i said just put the kick over knew that he had so much room out there he just had to land it in the vicinity of the try line steve menzies timed it well well it may look as though it just happens all so easily and it maybe it does for manly but there's a lot of skill from two quarters wasn't there yeah, the, the, great field and steve menzies the lead up play was great and then the, and then the finishing touches from craig field to, to have the vision to know that out there you know you've got those guys rushing up out of the line putting the pressure on you and, and to know that out on the wing there's plenty of space and he just lobbed the ball over swinging back hits the upright for luke phillips so the scoreline remains 22-12 yeah, it takes a lot of great skill to be able to uh, see that field. Sees the uh, the overlap on the edge there. And Menzies always was going to take it. He's a prolific try scorer. And this is another try for Menzies. And that looks like it is the ball game. You may well be right, Mario. 22-12, 10 points is very handy break. There's still 20 minutes to go. And I don't know, Mario, there's going to be more tries, I believe, because both teams have... Been throwing the ball around. I think we're going to see some more points. Phillips through over the advantage line. He was just grabbed there by John Doyle. Doyle was able to bring him to ground. Tuvi. Quite the manly of old, but they're starting to look a touch like it. One seven out of their last eight games. They're building plenty of momentum come the finals. Sick. It's the halfway line. He's tackled right on. Kosef. And from Copa. Christian Brothers Manley. Field. His kicking game has been pretty well spot on today. Scott Mann had to make a lot of ground to cover that one. Did a good job and the chase was also good. Scott Mann's been... Up to every test this afternoon at fullback, hasn't he? The Eagles have, have put a few good kicks through to him. He's answered every call well. Burgers dishes it for Lomax. Two veterans combining. Playing his 100th game today, the John Lomax, the Cowboys captain. That's a good ball hook from the lock. And Bill Harrigan, he saw the little knock on and Man, they're starting to build and build. John Lomax is telling Bill Harrigan that it touched his foot, not his hand. Bill won't have a bar of that. And another opportunity for Manly. No, you can't do it Manly now, still mate. made more Sorry, handling 10, errors 10. than the hard. Cowboys. Martin Locke has to stay out there until the scrum packs. Hold. Lions, Phillips, likes to get involved. A good game, hasn't he? Luke Phillips, number one for Manly. Kosef. Lines. Thought about the kick off the right boot, Craig Field. Ducks under one tackle. He's just 12 metres away from the try line. Camella takes off. He takes off in spectacular fashion. Picked up 10 metres. Field. Slide of hand. Oh, good tackle. Scott Ryan again. Now stretch him back to the left. Lions. The little grubber kick. Manji's worth streaming through. And Josh Hannay did a remarkable job to get across. That was great clean up work from Josh Hannay. Good play from Manley. That's the way to do it. Cliff Lyons rolls it into the end goal. Look at the chases coming through. And they cleaned it up well. If he just rolled it into the end goal, as he's done so many times over the years here at Brookvale, it will be strange to come back here next year and, and not to see Cliff Lyons running around in a manly jersey. To be juggled it. Adam Peters. An 18 game so far this season for me. To be. Picks up Torrance. Torrance! 
reaches out. Two in the tackle. And one fell loses off. it, stripping. There two was two in, the in that tackle. One fell off. Sorry, it's that way. Sorry, fellas. You can see it here. Doyle is the player. And even though that was one on one at that stage, because there was two players originally involved in the tackle, there they are. In fact, three. But still deemed to be at least a two man tackle. Big effort by Torrance. Field. Back to the left. They thought about the intercept. Menzies is looking for another try. Adam Peters. Peters will reach out. He reaches out. He scores Peters. He picks up his first try of the year, Adam Peters. And I reckon he'll celebrate with a smile. 26-12. And they can put a bit of a gap in this game now. They can. You go, you go back to that nice grubber kick from Cliff Lyons before. Putting the Cowboys under pressure, making them do all of this defence. Torrens almost got over in the corner, and now Adam Peters. Cliffy Lyons just started out a dummy half. Turned him back on the inside. He makes it look so easy, Cliff Lyons, but he just opened that hole up for Adam Peters. And over he went, and Mario Fennick will tell us that any try scored by a front rower makes them very, very happy because they are few and far between. Yeah, Mario, that was his first of the year, but it was a good one. Geez, I tell you, they got a tough call, uh, the North Queensland Cowboys. He's kidding, Bill Arrigan. That was absolutely disgraceful. He's, he's, he's ruled a raking. There was one player in the tackle, and that was it. I tell you what, mate, oh, if I was Tim Shoons, I'd be quite unhappy. There's been a couple of decisions here that... Uh, oh, Dicey, I tell you what, I'm sure he'll, he'll it is, speak to Mick Stone. It is in the rules, though, Muzzy. If if there are players involved in the tackle and then they fall off... It's still a two-man tackle. Oh, yeah, mate. But, jeez, I tell you, it's very pedantic. Let's have a look yeah. at Phillips if you if if can kick it. But pedantic, it's cost this North Queensland side a, a try. There it goes. And it's a superb kick, isn't it? Phillips having a huge game against his old club. 28 points to 12. Well, have a look at this. Always nice to see a front rower. And don't they earn the tries, the front rowers? Peters, very powerful. And away you go. And they're up salt in the wounds. This bloke here, probably the man of the match uh, at the moment, uh, Phillips. Beautiful kick. 28-12. We talked about him earlier in the game, Mario. Luke Phillips says uh, he made his mark... Uh, for Manly midway through the season in the 5'8 position, but a very handy fullback also. Well, he just looks he looks like a quality player. The way he moves, the yeah. way he catches the ball, the way he kicks the football, he's a quality player. There's two of you come up with a lost ball. Oh, two in have... there. Oh, my God, Father. Two well, in there. Actually, I don't know if he oh was my... just trying to affect the tackle there, or two. he actually did have a hand on the ball. Well, as JT said earlier, it, it, must be tough. That. it must be tough for a referee. It seems the referee can't win. I know it's hard. You like the bash referees, but mate, this loss, this uh, ball security thing is, it must be a bane of referees. Uh, very difficult to make the right decision. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But anyway, now yeah. you got the football. And the penalty count, eight points to nil. Eight nil. 28 points to 12. And they're getting a little bit fired up, the Cowboys now, too. They've had a couple of tough calls, as Mario's pointed out in the last five minutes. Josef bumps off that tackle of Ray Mercy. Tuvan finds Craig Field. Beautiful ball, wasn't it? The Lions and Phillips crunched in that tackle by Josh Henne. And the Gold penalty goes three. the way of the Cowboys. They have waited close to 70 minutes for it but it's eventually come. Gee, this was well read by Josh Henne. So many times the ball has gone to Luke Phillips from those set play situations and he's found space. That time Henne said to himself he's not going to come through here this time. And he certainly didn't miss him. They've proved to us today he can score tries picking up a hat trick. So he's very solid in defence. Doyle. Nice ball for Dunaman. Cunningham. Enjoy a beer with his old mates from Manly. <laughs> Terry Hill, one of the great competitors. Walters. 
Clyde Max is having plenty to say out there. To the right hand side, Doyle shows it. Inside's not yet, inside is forward. And there's a little on forward pass forward. there from Doyle. Likes to show the ball on both sides. And their bad luck with the decisions continue here, Mario. Actually, I'm off the football. I'm watching Terry Hill and John Lomax absolutely give it to each other. <laughs> Even Owen Cunningham chimed in. But I tell you what, Terry had it both covered. He was like a machine gun, Terry Hill. Hey, Craig, shush. Craig, shush. Has he just lost this one? I think he has. Heads down. We've seen plenty of close calls in this game. Manly, get yourselves Very back difficult get conditions to control the ball. Manly, the handling errors are 10, North Queensland 7. Chance for the Cowboys now to score another try. Ray Mercy. Terry Hill, not too many get by him, do they? Mercy's got no idea how close to the sideline he is there. Blinded by his jumper. Michael Curry. Should define the try line this season. Lomax. Now they get another penalty. Their second of the game. They've played 70 minutes and they've got two in two minutes. Dunaman fighting hard, fighting to the end. 8 2 the penalty count. Doyle. Little kick. Will it stay? It does. And Phillips did a good job. Nice little grubber from Doyle. He's a smart player. This is a good kicking game. Can kick it short or long. Moves the ball around nicely too. Some nice passes. Some nice wide balls to, to do them at different stages throughout the match. Just on those, on those situations where it's hard to tell whether somebody does rake at the ball or not. The fact of the matter is we see it and then we have to watch the replay to work out whether the referee is right or not. So it's pretty tough out there. Lock driven back. The offload for Walters. Dunaman. Inside ball for Lomax. Canella. It's solid for Manly to get. Walters. Adam Peters came over the top. Dunaman again. Doyle. That's again showing it on both sides. Little knock on was there. No play on is the call. Dunaman stepping off the right foot. Final tackle now for the Cowboys. Will they kick to the wings? Mark. And the little kick not effective. Well read by Luke Phillips. Hill. Straight and hard. Talk about the manly of old Terry, and, and they always, they, they, their sign was their defence, wasn't it? It's been pretty good today, even when the, the Cowboys got those couple of tries early in the game. They really had to work for them. In the end, there were a couple of easy misses from the, from the Eagles that we're not used to, but they, they worked pretty hard to get across the line on most occasions, and, and a couple of sets of six there and couldn't get across, so Manly certainly playing some good football at the moment. Manzies inside, Phillips. Thought he might have been tackled without the ball. Bill Harrigan disagrees. Josh Henney delivers to Doyle. Cut out ball for Dunaman. Scott Mark chimes into the back line. Great field. Good also for Manlet. Back to the right they go and Dunaman. Cunningham. Scott Mark. Who's the rookie of the year for Parramatta? In 88, that was loose ball. The Cowboys have turned it over. I think he's going to get a try. Arrigan, let's get back here. Lomax just tried to put a little short ball on there. Got to draw the man. Pensini came off his chest. They're starting to develop a lot of local players now. Mario Fennick, they're going to be dangerous in a. Maybe even next year, but 
There's some of the locals who used to go to the Brisbane Comp and down to Sydney, now staying in North Queensland and playing for the Cowboys. Well, Terry, when you consider they had 30,000, over 30,000 against the Broncos last week, it's obviously a great league town, and they play rugby league up there. They love it, so they'll, they'll be developing some good players. Uh, they're going to lose Duneman. Duneman's probably been their best today. Uh, a great uh, signature for South Sydney, but Duneman, their best today. And I reckon Phillips may be the best for Manly. Cut out ball from Craig Field. It bounced nicely for Torrance. Oh, let it go! Oh, let it go. Has an amazing job to get across there. Algenic. Fulton delivers it to field. Kick is a good one. And Scott Mann has been very busy. Good chase there from Duncan. That's Duncan. And he's got that left ankle pretty heavily strapped already. Walters looking to pinch a couple of metres out of acting half. Dudeman shows it to Lomax, accelerates, pops one over the back for Lomax. I tell you, they haven't given up the Cowboys, Cunningham. Lissick over the top to wrap up the ball, Doyle the kick. It's a good one too, Phillips. Races back, looks up. They haven't come up in a straight line, the Cowboys. Mercy puts the shoulder in. Quick play the ball from Phillips, Hancock. To dive forward to take that one. Very dark here at Brookvale. Lusick, it's the worst patch on this ground. It's held up remarkably well considering the rain we've had over the past two days. Fulton, Menzies is cut out. Torrance, nice ball. Olgenick on the left wing. Back on the inside, Menzies. He's still going, Menzies. Eventually they bring him to ground. Osef, field, gets the kick away. Oh, so close, Phillips came through quickly. Play, we have two players down. Craig Field and, and one of the Cowboys players, I can't make out which one it is at the moment. And Craig Field put that kick in. Cowboys player came flying out of the line. I think it might be Owen Cunningham. This was good play from Manly. It was a nice ball over the top and Torrance feeds his winger nicely. Back inside to Menzies. He's so dangerous in those situations, Steve Menzies. He finally got him to ground and the ball came across to Craig Field. He went to put a grubber through. It was Owen Cunningham who came flying out of the line. They both collided with each other. Cunningham looks a little bit dizzy and Craig Field just gets to back to his feet. As we speak, he looks like he's heading for the sideline as well. Both players coming off, so... They've done their job so far today. We're inside the final four minutes. Craig Field for a touch of blood coming from a head cut. In Cunningham, who had so many good seasons here at Manly, leaving the park. The Cowboys, hard work to do in the final three or four minutes. Swing up, Tell you, they haven't just arrived at Brookvale and given the gun to Manly. Manly have had to fight all the way for it. They helped out in that opening 40 minutes with some very good goal kicking from Luke Phillips. Manly have made life tough for so many teams over the years, Terry, and I think everybody in the competition, given a chance. Kept on the toe. They've come up with it. It's six to go for the Cowboys. They could finish in a flurry. Curry. There's plenty of size about him for a winner. Who's back for Martin Rock. Inside the final three minutes of this game. Durneman. Inside ball for Deeth. Jason Deeth driven back. 
8,422. The Watchcliffe lines go round for the final time. At Brookvale Oval, that is. And Walters. Long, hard game in tough conditions. Yeah, as I was saying, Terry, and we have made life tough for plenty of teams over the years, and the Cowboys came here today with a, an opportunity to say, OK, we can knock the Eagles out of the semi-final race. They've done it well, Manly. Some great patches of, of good play. Here goes Tuvi, driven sideways in that tackle. Terry Hill tries to hold him up a touch. Pops a little bit of a warning there from referee Bill Harrigan as Kosef takes it forward. Kalela will play a big part if Manly are to make an impact in the top ten. And the last three grand finals, Manly. Terry Hill, straight and hard. Tuvi. The kicker on the final tackle got that one away to Scott Mann. And the chase was a good one from Torrance. The crowd getting right behind Manly. They figured that was probably their last set of six with the ball and were hoping they could put something on and maybe get another try. I doubt the Cowboys will die wondering here, though. Duneman just so close to being through, but Menzies got him around the legs. Shipway. Dudeman, the range just hasn't stopped. The kick, they're storming through on this. Hancock loses it, so too the Cowboys. The they were offside, in, the in fact. In the the ruling is that Hancock was tackled with the feet off the ground, and of course, that is a penalty. Yeah, they were clearly onside. The kick was a good one. It arrived just at the time the chasers did. Decision by referee Bill Harrigan. Is that rule brought in, Jason, to protect the player who was leaving the ground and to avoid serious injury? And it's a, a very good rule. Scott Fulton. Final tackle of the game. Pellella pushes away from one and dishes it off for Terry Hill. Hill down the right hand side, away from one, back for Hancock. Hancock will kick in field. Menzies is coming. Scott Mann takes it. Menzies hammers him. There's a penalty to end the game here. No malice in that tackle from Steve Menzies. A penalty for the same thing there, Terry. Tackling the man while he's in the air. So will they just take the tap or? I think they'll kick for touch and try and do something fancy. There'll be a deep kick from the only tackle left in this game. So the Cowboys. Coming 28 to 12. It was a nice play from Terry Hill up that right hand sideline, wasn't it? We stop a couple of plays, got the ball back inside to Craig Hancock. Derniman, they'll run the ball on the final tackle. Malu on the far side. Back on the inside, Shipway, nowhere to go. Gartner can't get rid of it. He'll be happy to get out of the rain. And there you have it. Manly continue their push to make the finals. Winning by 28 points to 12. And for the 36-year-old Cliff Lyons, playing in his 287th game for Manly, he finished his career at Brookvale. A tremendous performance in the NEC. Man of the match is the fullback for Manly, Luke Phillips. The final score at Brookvale, 28 points to 12. I hope you enjoyed the game. Goodbye from Brookvale.
Sweet. Let me, let me do Andrew. Let's go, I'm ready. 